his, his stupid freaking face. Look at this dude. <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at this dude. Look at William mm. Afton. Look at him. Yeah. Oh my purple guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Eats Attorney. Blind because Cameron's playing because I don't get to have the controller. <laughs> yeah. Objection. Objection relevance. Objection, lack of father. <laughs> Objection, lack of riches. <laughs> oh shit, what do you remember from the last time? Uh, we caught this, we caught this, this mf -er in a, in a lie, motherfucker. Okay, I was like, why are you censoring yourself? I don't know, sometimes I don't like the curse. That's bitch made. <laughs> we caught we caught him in a lie. He said he said that we went wham wham on that bitch when we only went wham on that bitch. <laughs> yeah, objection, your honor. I only hit the bitch once. <laughs> the, judge, the judge makes that like stupid face. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're in the middle of a test mode because you decided to stop at the worst place possible. Well, so I didn't. Sir. It was. We were already like 50 minutes in. Yeah. I didn't want to like. Go ahead and start reading. I'm gonna take some little sippy sips of my little tea that I made. It's cherry flavored. <laughs> um. Well, we. See, well, see. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What thing? Then the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, <laughs> but she dodged. Objection! I did not attack her. I bashed her. <laughs> I would like the terms to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> You're winning your case, Sheriff Fire Phoenix. <laughs> um, and and then she turned and ran for the door. <laughs> He's freaking sweating. I haven't seen him sweat that much since he was doing the deed with Mr. Grossberg. <laughs> and they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> then you did her in with a single blow. <laughs> Thwap. Oh, I love the move. Thwap. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, uh, it is hurting. Shake my head. No, Deal with not. it! <laughs> no, I'm base, Phoenix. This is almost over. Mm. My stomach. The two accounts. Alright, first things first, I wanna... I should have poured more tea in here. Well, I don't know what's anything stopping me. You look through the evidence because you were just talking about it not too long ago. Okay. So, he mentioned that she ran to the, to the left, dodging our attack, then ran to the right. Yeah, so she kind of ran into the glass that's on the floor. She dodged, and then she tried to run to the door. Okay. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, that, um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, yeah, sure, Maya. <laughs> yeah, that does sound odd. Press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Uh, y yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. So sorry, but my bad. The witness, the witness will <laughs> revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. The light stand was laying on the floor when I was looking. I didn't know Mr. White changed his. Uh... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I usually read this for you. Like you read initially, because there's gonna be a lot of read. The glass stand was lying on the floor. Is that the first thing? That's the thing you heard. That's the first. <laughs> that's the first I've heard of this. There you go. Good job. You would you would make a great lawyer. <laughs> You're gonna make me fucking spit out my teeth. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us about this stand before? Why didn't you tell us about this stand user? <laughs> yeah, do the JoJo pose and everything. He does look like a JoJo stand. Wait, he actually does. Yeah, That's it's good. it's like one of those like the, the person in the crowd, like the the enemy stand user could be anywhere in the crowd. Enemy and stand <laughs> Yeah, they're always wearing like a like a a neon crop top and like some weird looking hat and. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they're like they're like six foot taller compared to everyone else. Yeah, they're like they're like they're eleven like, feet tall and <laughs> jacked. <laughs> yeah, they basically stand out of the crowd. They're like, Dad, it could be anyone. <laughs> Why me? Well, I was instructed not to. Wait, one moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I am so so confused. Mine's falling apart. Oh, you can object to me all day, baby. <laughs> Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. But, Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. I'll, I'll have him on my ropes. <laughs> Edgeworth is being edged. Oh. <laughs> Very well, the witness may continue his account. Wait a minute. No, you go ahead. If you. Okay, so. Saw Miss Mia run to the left. I mean, I'll just keep pressing. Yeah. Miss Mia? Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, 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 no. Tri triple no. How would I? How could I? I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. Wright, I will not have you harrying the witness. You're looking a little flustered, Edgeworth. <laughs> the killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Now before, you said that she was hit before she ran. Y yes, I, I must have been confused. But don't worry, we all know what happened now. <laughs> then, then you bash her in, your <laughs> in the head. She turned and ran for the door. Okay. What did, what did you do then? I gave chase, of course. Uh, no, no, not me. The the killer, I mean. He gave chase. That is the funniest shit. Uh, Mr. White, please try to remain calm. <laughs> Shake my head. Mr. Wright here is only trying to fluster you with baseless accusations. Oh, oh, right. Thank you, Miles. Then you did her with a single blow. <laughs> I hope when I hit press, <laughs> Phoenix flap is just drag? like, flap? <laughs> <laughs> flap? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a savage attack from your earlier testimony. Ho ho ho, yes well, I am a man of peace, you see. Phoenix, he's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll catch him on something. But, I won't, but it won't be easy. Wait, a light sand was laying on the floor when I looked. Hold up. So, this is, this is, this is from the light stand. Yeah. How the fuck would he have seen that? <laughs> that window wasn't open! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Unless he's the killer! <laughs> I mean, we literally, the first thing that we saw for this episode was him bashing Mia's head in, so. How much trouble would I get into if I made a wrong objection? You only get, like, you only get, like, negative two off of the thing. You you have full health right now. You can try it. Objection. There you go. <laughs> Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. D what? Look at this photograph. <laughs> Laugh. Every time I look at me. <laughs> <laughs> These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder. Yes. Yes, Your Honor, you have eyes. C correct, Your Honor. Now look at this photograph. <laughs> if you were looking through the window at the office, this is the area you'll be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Also, the glass would be on the floor. You wouldn't be able to see that. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you would not have been able to see the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There is no way you could have recognized the broken shards of the, as the glass... The broken shards as the glass light sand. Oh, so I wonder if you could have objected with the... Like there was the, two ways to object? Yeah. Maybe. 
So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you would have been seeing that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder was took place. <laughs> oh. Wait, did, oh, I thought he was gonna do it again. His face looks kinda weird. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. White? Mr. White. You, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I... I... Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! What is it now? That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? Oh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Oh, I couldn't forget about Edgeworth. <laughs> Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? Wh what? I said, you should confess your crime. There we go. Confess that you placed the wiretap. The, the wiretap? He's in the back of Order, the order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is heading. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? Correct! You are most correct, Miles. Oh man, I feel a million times better now. Look how shiny my teeth <laughs> are. <laughs> Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. AKA, I broke into that shit. <laughs> that is when I saw that accursed delight stand. <laughs> now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap. <gasps> He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Ah, shit, he figured it out! <laughs> Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Look at my fucking bling! You can bling bling blow over here! Ahem, <laughs> leave it to me. I... I feel faint. The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week of before the murder. Okay. What day is it now? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, does the... Um, well, we have a bunch of dogs barking, the, so... Does the phone tell you when the conversation was recorded, at least? Okay, it was recorded on... September like, 5th. Yeah, so that, that kind of... Yeah, that's the beginning of September, at least, when that conversation was recorded. Yep. The week before the murder. Yeah. So, the next week, he murdered me. I mean, he didn't murder me. <laughs> I had entered the Fay and Co. Lobs. Sorry if you hear the dogs. It's my, my dogs are barking. <laughs> my dogs are barking right now. <laughs> of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. It was hideous looking. <laughs> hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. <laughs> Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. What am I supposed to do now? 
Good luck, Phoenix. Oh, thanks, Mia. I, I need it. <laughs> the right. wiretapping. The wiretapping. The wiretapping. It's the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Objection. <laughs> I can press everything. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Uh, right. <laughs> I entered the Fane Co. Law offices. I broke in. <laughs> was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fane Co. Law offices. Those were obviously... Mr. White. Well, how can you say that without getting the evidence? And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on his prints. No, he's bluffing right now. I know that shit. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the famed Cola offices. Of course I had to do so to place the wiretap. Why did you tap Mia's phone? Objection. Man, this boy's objecting that like at everything. This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That's why I saw this light stand. It is a glass light stand. It is a thinker. Maybe you press it, maybe it'll give you more details or some shit. Do we even know what this thing even looked like <laughs> when, it, when it fell over? <laughs> Oh, no. Now maybe press it? Maybe it'll spill some shit. Why did you notice something as in innocuous. innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a putatious thing deserves attention, does it not? I that guess. is all. Damn it. There's nothing for me to press him on. Well, maybe he's rather enough that I can bluff something out of him. Uh, what the? What could I bluff out of him? I have no fucking idea. Died during a blow. Conversation. Broken glass. Hmm. Wait a minute. It said it was broken by all, like, by all recognition. Could you present that and be like, well, do you remember what it even looked like? I don't know. I'm just- I'm fucking spitballing. I don't not remember some of these parts of the game. <laughs> That's what I've done place the wire tap. Oh! Don't tell me I ran out of ammo! Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Ah, oh, shit. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. Don't fuck yourself. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright. Are you giving up? Uh, yeah, yes, your honor. Phoenix! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. <laughs> Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. M Mia? <laughs> Did we die? We saw heaven. <laughs> where, where am I? I think I almost got flashbang by the on screen. <laughs> the waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost a trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. Ah! <laughs> Do we have that sound again? <laughs> hey, Phoenix. Yeah, that's the way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Is it your new dad? Oh, <laughs> your Maya? Didn't you know the Phase women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted defeat in court, it appeared that it was enough shock to awaken Mia's true powers. So Mia's is channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But... 
We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You already won. Huh? You have that receipt in your court record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one that you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? So I've got to find the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. $1,000? Wow, big splendor. Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th! That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? Ah, it was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand a week before the murder. There you go. I think the court's about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Alright, receive the glass sword. Date purchase before the murder. Hmm. How do you feel about that? <laughs> She's hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, her sprite changed. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant, rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Just saw a ghost. <laughs> then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? Fuck you, I mean... <laughs> I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Alright, it was beginning of September, the week before the murder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was easy. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Blah, you're grasping. No, -uh, I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand and a date of purchase. Why? That's the day before the murder. Oh. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered the Fane Co. Law Offices at the beginning of September, the sand could not have been there. God! Will he, will he come up for air one more time? I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I think he's dead. Well, Mr. Wright White... Can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you agree that you cannot judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Oh, shit. Then, that is all for the trial of. What are you objecting to now? <laughs> Asshole. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh? Why? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. <laughs> there is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. What the- Huh? <laughs> Ergo. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. <laughs> Does he hate us or something? I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. What? Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Oh, 
good for you for objecting for our innocence. Mr. Dwight's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Uh, hmm. I see. Objection denied. Wh what? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No! There's no telling what could happen if I didn't end this now! Edgeworth is sure gonna come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Look at my bling. Bling bling. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. The witness will stay. Mia? Phoenix. Read this note out loud. Mia? What's this? Memo received from Mia. List of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may? You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read for the court. <laughs> My attorney's bad. <laughs> take, yeah, take this shit. <laughs> the memo Mia had given me is a list of names. Many of those sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. S -s stop! This is halt. <laughs> P please stop! Make him stop! H how? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. Oh! I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. Oh, oh you hit her with a finger. <laughs> Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, I did that shit. <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Yeah. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you had, you had to say it. Uh, I guess I could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm, well, but this court finds the defense. Ahem, <laughs> rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty! Yay! <laughs> I love the confetti. Yeah, it's the best part of the game. <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. We did it! We lived! <laughs> I should have you watch this episode in the anime because it's really cool and everything. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again, but congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I have both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. But what? No! There's still so much to say! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief? Mia! Yeah. And then she died all over again. <laughs> Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I'd come. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? <laughs> I think that's you. Bah ha ha, you should see your face. <laughs> that's not Mr. White. Mia? I thought it'd be funny to say that. Like, <laughs> isn't that like how he, how he talks though? I didn't expect her to say blah. <laughs> she was laughing out loud aggressively. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya? 
What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? <laughs> um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Oh, that was nice of her. Take care of Phoenix for me. Oh, what the fu- I'm, I'm a grown man! <laughs> Take care of, huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new writing co law offices, huh? And who better but me? Maya Faye reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. Maya here. Ready to get down to business. <laughs> you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name! Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you, the one with the big butts! <laughs> Nick. You know what this means? We're partners! Great. Sexual partners. No! <laughs> you know, when I think about it, it is Mia's fault I'm here now. Oh, it's, it's Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in co law offices. It's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> Big bazongas. Yeah. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Always watching. <laughs> right, okay. Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. I, I like McDonald's. <laughs> I'm a Burger King kind of girl. <laughs> Come on, time's a wasting. It's like an Arby's. <laughs> uh, okay, wait up. Aw, that was nice. How'd you, how'd you like the, the full thing? How'd you feel about this first case? Well, second case. It's pretty pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I'm, I'm just looking at the art now, though. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, a new episode has been added. What the heck is this episode? It's a, I, people like this one a lot. This is from- I want to say it's maybe like the- I'm trying to think. I want to say maybe people think highly of this, like maybe a top three, but I don't know. Oh, you disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. <laughs> the moon? No, it is you who gazes upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of cool. See you in hell, m evil massacre, and whatever the fuck he said. Whoa! <laughs> the warrior's swords beam and strike into the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's episode of The Dark Messenger Returns. I would watch that. <laughs> Oh, right in co law offices. Yeah, it feels a little sad taking away the the Faye on there. Yeah. yeah. Do we want to continue? Yeah. Well, I mean, we can do, we can start the little bit of this. We we're at like thirty three minutes. That rocked. See you in hell, evil magistrate. That's what she said. Whoa! Stop! Stop waving the broom around. <laughs> oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal? Sh show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know? The Steel Samurai. <gasps> He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Uh, 10 years old? And what the heck are you doing getting all excited about that? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See, I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick, you old bitch. <laughs> Hey, don't call me like. Don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa. I'm like only 24 myself. He's only 24? Then watch it with me. He's really cool and it's really popular. When they ask grade school kids what they want to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Great. <laughs> well, the. Steel Samurai's. Over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. But she has some clients. I can't. Wait, really? Phoenix is 24 years old? I never knew that. <laughs> How old is Edgeworth? Just asking for like a friend. <laughs> Phoenix is only one one year older than me. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Except this game is like what, like ten years old or something? Yeah, he's old as shit now. Yeah, I forgot how old he is in the in the older games, but I guess we'll find out at some point if we ever get around to playing those. A month has passed since my trial. I got away with murder. I mean, me as murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Ryan Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? Well, I heard the strip clubs hiring. <laughs> It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Thanks, Maya. Huh. I feel like that's foreshadowing. October 16th, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Wait, we have to see his room? Is he getting it on in here? But <laughs> Phoenix is getting bitches? Hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Nick! I have... What? It's so early. It's the... the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai. Got arrested. Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the... Steel Samurai. Killed a villain. Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. He just hangs up. <laughs> just no, I him. mean, he actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with his... Samurai Spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Just come to the office quick, please, Nick! Beep. Five more minutes! <laughs> Poor guy. He just wanted to sleep. Maya's here, watching television. Now for this morning's news! The actor Will Powers, who was arrested yesterday, Powers plays the lead role in the, po in the popular kids' show, The Seal Samurai, Warriors of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicious of murder. <laughs> the victim was Jack Hammer, who <laughs> plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The Samurai Spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe that it was the murder weapon, and they are investigating further. This has to be a joke. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai- Oh, sorry. The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! Bling, bling, bling. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Y yes, right in co-offices. But the What? Nick! It it's the Steel Samurai. What? Why are they calling your phone? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Beep. Let's go, Nick! Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So I decided this will be our first case. Uh, bitch! <laughs> Wait, right. okay, we'll probably just talk with her, examine the room, and then probably call it. Wait, is this is the. It's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's a bellboy, happily cleaning the room. <laughs> yeah, he's actually looking. He's like, hi! <laughs> She, oh, what? She, she says she's watering it so much it looks like it's, it's, it's full and it's, 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 it's like she's practicing a torture technique. <laughs> that was an old man that Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. That's when I realized that the poster doesn't actually say the movie, the, the title of the movie. Look, what kind of movie poster doesn't have the title of the movie in the corner? There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still. Scarier still that the thought that I had to read all these now. Yeah. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. And here's the phone that I wired to, I mean, take my important calls on. <laughs> what to do? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case or does she just do some sightseeing? I wonder. My money's on sightseeing. I like how when you're yelling, like, what? why are you sitting there like that for? I'm like, oh, sorry, and I, I was gonna uncross my legs and everything. <laughs> we don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just a minute. You don't have a clue what happened. N no, we just don't have enough information. <laughs> so, yeah, wait. What's in our court record? I love it. What about this? You like showing that off, don't you, Nick? My poor, poor ego. <laughs> no one carries around fucking badges anymore! What are you, a detective? <laughs> Alright. 
to, come on. While, while we're here, your final thoughts of that whole episode two. Uh, can't believe that Mr. White turned out to be the killer, even though we saw him kill in yeah. the very beginning. Yeah, but now, from further on, we won't be able to see who the killer was. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's... at least now you actually had to use your big brain to see who, who it was. Oh, darn. I'm, my big brain's gonna be working in overtime. <laughs> I'll, I'll help you as much as I can. I yeah. promise. Be careful. You're gonna fling that shit off. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a hundred percent on the on the cases going forward. Yeah. I'm not gonna get a single thing wrong. Cue to next episode where I get everything wrong. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Oh dang it! Oh, oh dang it! <laughs> oh dang. It. Yeah, but I th I thought it was cool. I thought I thought the the characters were interesting. I'm sad Mia's dead. Hopefully we do actually get to see her again. You you'll get to see her a couple times throughout this. Yeah. You'll see her a lot in I want to say the second um. I want to say definitely the third game. You'll see her a lot. I don't know about the second game, to be completely honest with you. Oh, so we're going through the trilogy? Yeah. Dude, the trilogy. Dude, everyone talks about how good the third game is. And honestly, it's fucking great. And I, you are going to love it when we get to it. How many cases are there in this? Or how many episodes are there in, in this? In this one? Yeah. There's technically four, but there's a bonus five one for like a bonus little case. And oh, then so we, we only have... Two so more, like, technically, for this game? Yeah. Well, we gotta finish this one that we're on, and then two more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah. Uh, excited to get into the next episode. Uh, you know, we'll get to see if uh, Maya and I actually get to work well as a team together. Dude, everyone loves her so much. She's she's a fan favorite. Yeah, I can tell why. Look, yeah. look at her staring yeah. at me. She's staring into your soul! She can see the spirits that you killed in your past. <laughs> yep. Well, till next time. Yep. Bye-bye!